In this demo, we'll design a family of PID controllers for nonlinear engine model. The engine model is here. The input is throttle angle, the output is engine speed. There is a lot of nonlinear dynamics here, so as a result, it's not enough to design just one PID controller to control this engine from 2000 to 4000 RPM. Instead, we'll need to design the whole family of PID controllers. To do that, we'll start by linearizing the model to get the linear system that we can use for control design. We'll start by linearizing the model at 2000 RPM. If you run the model, we can get an idea about engine dynamics. To linearize this nonlinear model, we'll need to specify linearization I.O. points. You can do that by right-clicking on the signal and selecting the input point and doing the same to specify the output point. So as you see, we are linearizing from throttle angle to engine speed. To perform linearization, we go into control design, linear analysis. This brings up the GUI for linear analysis. And in this GUI, we can specify which I.O. points we want to use. We will just use the ones designed, defined in the model. And we can specify at which operating condition we want to linearize our model. We can do it at the initial condition specified in the model, or we can find a new operating point. Let's show how to do that. So we can specify the conditions for the new operating point. And in this case, we want the model to be at steady state. So we want the model states to have zero derivatives. And we want the output to be fixed at 2000 RPM. Once we specify that, we can press this button and compute a new operating point, OP trim 1. It's now added to the linear analysis workspace. And now when we go back to exact linearization, we can specify that that's the condition where we want to linearize our model at. We'll plot the results in a new body plot. And we'll run linearization. Now, we get this body plot that shows us the characteristics of the linear system LinSys1 that captures linear behavior of the engine at 2000 RPM. Now, we need to repeat this process many times to find linear systems representing engine dynamics at different operating conditions. We could do it from the GUI, but that would be tedious. So instead, we'll write a MATLAB script. We'll do that by automatically generating MATLAB code from the GUI. We'll press this button. It generates this MATLAB function, which uses commands from Simulin control design to linearize the model and basically do exactly the same as what the GUI does. Only now this is a script that we can modify and add a for loop to do this in a batch mode. So that's what we did here. We added a for loop. We are specifying that we want to linearize our model at different operating conditions ranging from 2000 RPM to 4000 RPM with a step of 200. So if you execute the cell, we'll get an array of 11 linear systems that we can use for control design. That's a body plot. If you zoom in, we'll see 11 different curves. And if you look at the variable that we just calculated, sees, we'll see that it is an array of 11 continuous time state space systems. To design 11 PID controllers for those 11 linear systems, we'll use two lines of code from Control System Toolbox. In the first line, we'll specify the crossover frequency of 3.5 radians per second. In the second line, we'll design PID controllers, and we'll specify the type, proportional integral, and we'll supply array of linear systems as an input argument. So let's execute this cell. Once the calculation is complete, We'll get a new variable in our MATLAB workspace, PIDCs. We see it here. And if you look at this variable, you'll see that it represents an array of 11 continuous time PID controllers. You can see the coefficients and the formulas for each controller. Let's plot the gains of those controllers as functions of the engine speed. These are the curves that we get, and we see that these are nice smooth curves that we can use for implementing the lookup tables for gain scheduling RPID controllers. 
to verify that the PID design we came up with is good, we can calculate and plot the step responses of the 11 PID controllers with the appropriate 11 linear systems. So if you do that, that's the plot we get and we see that those step responses indeed look pretty nice. So now we can go ahead and implement this gain scheduling in a simulink model. That concludes this demo.